Wherever you go, I have wheels on my chair. I'll just follow you yeah. around. Next time you, last time you fell over. We wear Crocs. Oh, well, we have a doorbell. Are you expecting someone? Ah! <laughs> this will be George's she shed. And if you ask me, this is a pretty incredible she shed. I moved your chair because Whoa! there is no view anymore. Oh my goodness. And we have another mission today, George. What's our mission? We have to go to dun, your house dun, next. Dun, 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 we go to your dun, house next dun, dun, dun. and we get everything out of your house. You've got way more shoes than I do. Yeah, right. Oh, I'll show them once we get back Wait, to the house. Precious. Marilyn is not allowed in here. I will lock her out. Instead of filming all day, we worked all day. And look at this. You put me in the corner, and who's in my corner? Me? Yeah. You. Because I like to crowd your space. Because you like space. to creep on me. I have no me. concept of personal space. So you like to creep on guess me. Guess who's your corner, buddy? What you doing, Willis? Just, uh... Wrong channel, but <laughs> just altering everything again. This this is way too low for us. It is low like it's hanging. right in the way. What are you thinking? I'm thinking kind of. Yeah, like, take like it up as, as high as you can. Like where? Up. Yep. Here. Yes. You think right there. That's good. Right up, right about there. Yes. Bueno. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. If I just tie it in a little knot. And then... Whatever is the safest where it won't come crashing down well, on either of us. It's a lot of cord there. Let's see, they did it with old electrical wire. Let's see, that's a, a lot of cord. How high do you want it? Um, I like the height that you had it at. How high was that? Like this? A little higher. Like to your where your double chin is. Like, you want it here? Yeah, that's good. You want it right there? Right there. Perfecto. All right, turn it on. Oh, look. Oh, that light actually works now. It lights everything up. Huh. And so, That's what I thought would happen, that it would bring more light if the higher it went. I gotta keep working. We'll have to look at the rest of what's happened here today. Okay. Tomorrow. I gotta get back to work too. I'm creating new merch. I thought you were just creeping on me. No, nope, creating new merch. I guess I'm gonna start taking her desk over there and over there and everywhere wherever you go i have wheels on my chair i'll just follow you yeah. around next time you last time you fell over so <laughs> another beautiful morning what you doing i'm laying uh, rugs down rugs so on you don't have to take upon shoes rugs. off and you're not tracking and tracking in dirt and mud uh we would never money. take our shoes off anyway because we don't wear them we wear crocs well, we have a doorbell. Are you expecting someone? Is Mr. Rogers here? <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, let me see. A you see a truck and a tri- It's Christian! It's Christian. Um, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Do you come bearing mail? Uh, yes, lots of mail. How much mail? A uh, whole truckload. Literally a truckload. Yes. I don't uh, think you get it. You couldn't even send the truck if you wanted to. Okay, I gotta see this. Let's see this load. Oh, oh, you, wait, 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 you have a passenger? Uh, there's a couple passengers. Okay, so that's, this is all from the fans? Yeah. Holy. Don't mind the back seat. Oh my <laughs> goodness, you had to, the whole back seat. The whole back seat? And that's, this is all the fan mail. And, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy cow. It's not even the light. Holy cow. You know what we're doing this morning? What are we doing? Well, we have to unload the truck. We have to unload the trailer, but um, first we, we're gonna explore nature. You don't, you don't get in a house like this without exploring nature. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Big step. That is a big step. The beauty of this is you can uh, pretty much go out any window. You see how it's thinner up here and then it goes thicker in the back. This is yes. the trapezoid. This is the original portion of the house. And then you see another rooftop here. 
that's an addition. This whole house wasn't built like this. It was an addition upon an addition upon an addition, continually altered by the previous owners, the only owners until George and I came along. But there's a couple things we have to see up here. And the skylights isn't what we're looking for. Um, how risky do you feel? Come on, come on, peek in here. I'm gonna have to explore. You see anything? What is that hung up by the, is that tobacco hung up by the, what is, is that what that is? That's is the it, chimney. Is it to keep like animals away maybe? I don't know. What do you think it is? I have no idea. Maybe it's some witchcraft stuff. Could be, could be. Uh, so this is, this is obviously a heating unit back in here. So that's, that's part of the heating system. Uh, I was hoping George would be in here and we could scare her. There's so many skylights, maybe we can find her and scare her. What do you think? Maybe. Good idea or bad it's idea? It's a great idea. We can't find her from the roof. So let's find her and scare her inside the house instead of from the outside of the house. Jumping out of the cabinets. Oh, I'll get you back. Oh, I bet I'm you gonna will. scare the living snot out of you. Literally, the snot's gonna come out of your nose the next And then I will eat. feed it, and you will be like, s'more, please. S'more. <laughs> Got her. She's back in the couch area. Let's see if we can get her again. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get her without being ready. Should I smack it? Yeah. Should I smack it? Judge! I think I got her. I think I got her. And she said she was gonna get me. Mm. Actually, she probably will. She's scared me so many times off camera that you guys will never see. I've screamed like a little baby. A big, massive baby. You and Patience did a great job loading the trailer from the garage in Worcester. Or was it all you? You and Patience or just you? It was just me. Okay, you did a great job <laughs> loading it all up. That's everything that came from Florida. So we loaded it in Florida. We unloaded it in the garage. Now you loaded it again. Now we're gonna unload it. Again. So, again, that's the life of a storage unit buyer. And that's the life that we love. <laughs> so one of the things you gotta have is storage. So what I told George is this whole pole barn right here, this is gonna be hers. So we're gonna bring it up here and we're gonna kind of stack it and store it. She'll have lights. So this is gonna be all of our inventory for all of the YouTube auctions. She'll have lights and she has water. This is another well here on the property. Oh, it actually works. Yep, it actually works. She also will have heat. And I can put another heat system in here. Most insurance companies just go crazy if you have uh, a wood burner. This is a beautiful wood burner. Energy harvesters. Let's check inside. Yeah, they absolutely were using it. This is a beautiful one. And we can actually cook. This is for a cooktop here as well. You can cook right here. And then you can cool things off over here. Do you see the firewoods right there? So my insurance company has already told me this has to come out. And of course I told them it's going to come out, right, Christian? Yeah. But um, for the time being, we're gonna get George in here. We're gonna we're gonna line all of our stuff over here. I think maybe their horses stayed here. And what they would do, they would just jump on their horse and they would go back through in all the woods. Because that's the beautiful part of having the government as your neighbor. Your property is your property, but then the government property is everyone's property. So your property is this big, but then you add the government's property on top of that, it almost feels endless. We're learning really quick that uh, we need a much wider trail up there to the pole barn. So I'm gonna have to get an excavator yep. in here and widen it because we're already tearing the lawn up and Ramsey's up. Looks like you and I are just hauling. What do you think? Oh, it's gonna be a long walk. It's, it's, it, it is, but <laughs> our dad bods. Okay, my dad go bod. Away. Yeah, yeah, I gotta take care of this dad bod. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. You put all the furniture at the the front which is the back we'll make a row like we already are so 
we'll row everything in here. But you see that big window there? Yep. That's a huge, beautiful window. So what I'm thinking is one of George's requirements for a house was windows and views. I'm thinking she's gonna to wanna to set these tables up right here and look out at the woods. Look at that old window, look at that. Maybe clean up the window a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'll probably need a window <laughs> washer there, but this is where I envision her sorting, getting ready, putting lots together, and looking out the window. Oh, I think it opens. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, it does open that. Yeah, now, now we can actually admire the view. Out to the woods. I'll put a salt lick. I'll put uh, chickens, pygmy goats, maybe some pigs. We should bring some of our pigs back home from Florida to Ohio. And then George can just have fun with them right out the window. Just crawl them in the trailer. Yeah, crawl them in and bring them on up. <laughs> I didn't notice this at first. Look at the artistic design here on the wood burner. This actually looks like our property here. There's giant oak trees. There's probably a creek down in this ravine that looks like flowing water, hillside. Come on, insurance company. I cannot pull this thing out. That is something I'm not good at, pulling things out. I think it's gotta stay one way or another. Again, this is all YouTube auction stuff that George will be auctioning off this spring and summer. We noticed something. You see this huge, huge pathway that, Christian, it goes straight up to the barns, doesn't it? Yep. Straight up to the barns. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna make a bed the driveway. Last couple of things here, Christian. Nice job. Not easy going up this hill. No, it's we'll tiring. Easier in the future for sure. Let's take a look at George's workspace. Again, I told George this whole pole barn, this is George's pole barn, I won't touch it. It's all hers. This is everything that came from Florida. It's been unloaded. It's been loaded in Florida. Broken. Unloaded in Ohio. Reloaded in Ohio. Unloaded here, whatever state we're in now. That's up for debate. But uh, this will be her area here. Now look, she has all of this as well. We haven't even touched any of this. I'll get the brush hog out. I'll get everything else out of here. This will be George's she shed and if you ask me this is a pretty incredible she shed don't you think Christian I think it is yeah yeah let's hope it doesn't get hit by lightning remember when you told me if we were gonna buy a house it had to have an office yeah and there had to be a view yeah remember that yes windows everywhere view everywhere yeah well the fans have responded <laughs> and um, good thing I, I actually I moved your chair because Whoa! there is no view anymore. Oh my goodness. This is from all of the fans responding. This is fan mail. <laughs> this is week three fundraising for all oh the orphan goodness. kids in All in the Egypt. orphan kids in Egypt. Your window view completely, totally gone. Well, that's just temporary. I still get the corner. Well, I have. I can come over and inspa invade your space. You're always in my space anyway, so <laughs> your chair is there. So um, remember, I said I don't think the house is big enough. We did we you need... get a call from the post office? And uh, did you get yelled at again? Multiple times. <laughs> multiple times. So this is week three as we've been sharing. Uh, as this we want a special yeah. mission for the orphanage kids of Egypt because. Aunt Camelia George and my mom and their siblings were, they all grew up in orphan homes. So this is a special mission near and dear to our hearts and to my, my, my aunt and my mom's heart as well. This is just mind boggling. This is and, At and some point we're going to have to put a cutoff date <laughs> because well, we got to allow at least a month, month and a half for it to get shipped over to Egypt. <laughs> well, we'll be back in September, so we're nowhere near the cutoff date yet. No, we're not. And, and we absolutely know it's going to be shipping containers going over. We'll be shipping all of this in shipping containers. This is just, just mind-blowing, and, and we love birds of a feather flock together. And, and we know our fans love the Restorage, the love projects we've done. We've shared with you that you're gonna see a monstrous one, 143,000, we'll just round up to 150,000. We'll just give them another 7,000 once you see the video. And um, and you guys have been a part of, you jumped on all of this and now we're having the impact with the kids in, in Egypt as well. This is just, it's just mind blowing Christian. 
You've been <laughs> hauling all this stuff with patients. What is, what's the response of the post office been? They are honestly just asking what's going on because they aren't used to seeing like that many packages, especially for one person. So do they know? Do they yeah, know the mission? Well, the one, uh, yeah, we've told them what the mission was. Okay. We've told them what it's for about the orphans and everything in Egypt. And um, they actually have gone and looked on to the YouTube just They're... because they see what, ha what the hail's in all the boxes. Wow. So maybe, maybe a little less yelling in the future now that they know what the mission is maybe. and that we're not shop addicts and we're doing all this to, uh, you to know, torture their lives and make their jobs miserable. We have a, <laughs> we have another mission today, George. What's our mission? We have to go to dun, your house dun, next. Dun, 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 we go to your dun, house next dun, dun, dun. and we get everything out of your house. And what by us, I mean me and you, Christian. We get everything out of her I'll, house. I'll be there. I'll be there to supervise. Supervising, Don't yeah. You worry. Yeah. You ready to lift more heavy stuff? I guess. Do you need deodorant <sighs> before we go? Is I it still might. working? I might need a triple apply. <laughs> I don't know because we just set up your office up in the pole barn and I don't know about you, but I'm hurting. That was a that was a busy hill. Hey, um, you know, I got a whirlpool bathtub up there. I still have Christmas decorations up? Yeah, a lot of people keep their tree yeah. up all year. Yeah, did you I too? I love my tree up. Mm -hmm. Something smells in here. Did you, uh, did you foos? Yeah, my stomach's upset. Yeah, okay. It's dark in here too. You ready to hit the ground running? Oh, you know where we could hang those giant stockings? Where? On my feet, because I'm a giant. I'm a giant. All right, so this isn't too bad. This shouldn't be too bad. Christian, are you ready for all this? I am. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know if I am. Maybe I'll just take a break and you can take care of all of it. What do you I think? I myself. We got a whole empty trailer out there ready to fill. Oh, look at that. You got your Christmas present back. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Remember the one that blew up in Egypt? Yeah, because you plugged the one in in Egypt <laughs> and it literally blew this up and threw it away. Popped. Yeah. All right, what do you want us to do first? Couch? Um, the couch is the hardest. Should we go hardest then easiest? Yeah. Let's do it. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, why did we bring this giant couch in here in the first place? That's what I'm thinking. And how in the world did we get it through here? <sighs> okay. So this is the crazy part, Christian. It has to go up. It's like a crazy, crazy maneuvered jigsaw puzzle and somehow i did it with george <laughs> somehow we did do it are know. you sure it went through there Probably. oh we went through the the patio area we brought it around what we brought it around the house what do you mean yep just keep going back we took it through the neighbor's drive how See? we doing boss now does it ring a bell um you know what would really ring my bell right now ring lunch your bell. Lunch. All right, straight in, Christian. Straight in. All right, lunch will be coming soon. Promise. Yep. I'll go pick it up now. Lunch is on the boss. Boss lady, did you come through for us? We're hungry. Yeah. You came through. Yes. What you got? Um. Uh. Oh no, I table. Sure thought you'd wait to pack up the table before. We do we wait for anything or do we make things happen? I uh, guess we make things happen. We make things happen. That's what you pay us for, right? All we, right, we'll make it happen. Are we getting paid in pizza? Yeah. What kind of pizza? Pepperoni, is it, just pepperoni. Is it that really good garlic bread, cheesy and thing? cheesy bread. <sighs> oh my goodness. We tried this stuff once and, oh man, it looks good. I'd like I to know. I leave you for two seconds. Now, I, I want to know about your workman's compensation here because that's work-related injury right there. It wasn't me, it was Bigfoot. Oh, Bigfoot tripped me in and I got all bumped and bruised. What did you do to yourself? What did you do to me? There's nothing that heavy or that violent here for you to cut yourself. I was carrying a memory foam mattress and it went all off on me, attacked me. I swear it must be Egyptian. So you're blaming your Captain Fumble Nuts skills Can on the mattress. Can you just kiss it and make it better before I file a complaint? I didn't realize we actually had this much stuff at your place. Yeah. So, oh, we got more. all, oh, that's from a storage unit. So, we still have an entire basement. That's right, we haven't even looked at the basement. <laughs> so every time we've, that's from a storage unit, we buy a storage unit, 
Well, that was from a storage unit. It's meant that way. That is. No, that came from a storage unit that no, I bought. I bought that from Amazon. Oh, okay. Well, then that's from a storage unit right there. That's from a storage unit. That's from a storage unit right there. Um, this brand new vacuum was from a storage unit. That's from a storage but unit. Guess what? It doesn't work. Doesn't work. Unless it's something that we're doing wrong. Might have to look at that later. I don't have Christian, to look at Christian, you like yeah. to do your things. Maybe you Christian can probably work. just, just okay. like the tractor, will get on it and. You got the magic touch. Okay, so we got what? Like one more room on the upstairs. We still have Holy this entire room to move. Shoes. And then those aren't even half as what patience has. Apparently, patience. True or to false? Give me. Th those are all the shoes that I have. The, she says that's not even half of what patience has. True or false? It. I mean, it might be like three quarters of what patience has. There you go. See, don't you try and get out of this and blame patience on she having has, more shoes. So he pretty much just said she has more than me. Those clothes organizers up yeah. against the wall, uh -huh. my mom's calling dibs on those. Mom, Because mom gets I those. have no use for them. We have so much storage space. We have so much storage, we don't know what to do with it. But we're going to put all those shoes in it. And uh, if you guys need a place to put shoes, apparently we've got the spot for it too, right? No? No shoes? Okay. Careful with the shoes. Oh, this is the whole reason why we bought Do you want to hear something funny? Trailer. Do you want to hear something funny? You've got way more shoes than I do. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll show them once we get back Wait, to the house. Wait, set it down, set it down. First of all, first of all, you have they a foot. They haven't seen. You have a foot They haven't easy. seen your you shoe see collection. You how big this foot is? This is a size 13 double wide. They don't just make these anywhere and everywhere. You Once you find one, you have to buy every single one that's on the shelf because it could be another year before you find a 13 double wide. I can't help it that I'm huge. You, on the other hand, Boink. I wear size seven, seven yeah. and a half. Depends you can on get who these anywhere. Look at this is look at nothing. This, this is nothing compared to your collection. Because I have three of the same size shoe because I can't find any others. <laughs> this is all different. They have no idea. Wait till I show the things them. I do for this woman. Oh, here's two of my house slippers. They forgot these. Jeremy, what? you forgot these. Really? You want the one that the doesn't house. even have a match? <laughs> They're back in the house. Whoops. She keeps coming with more and more shoe. Where's it going? I don't even know. Shoe there devices. There's just things to put shoes in. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking just leave the Christmas decorations up. Right, boss? Huh? Are that more shoes? No, more hangers. Hangers? You Four have shoes. A ton of clothes. Oh, please. They don't even realize Christian, how much clothes you Do have. I have a ton of clothes? I mean, you have a ton of the same clothes. See? Hoodies. Hoodies, Wait hoodies, hoodies. see all the clothes you used to right. wear that you don't want. So we'll come back for all of this. Again, this is all from storage units. Our lives are storage unit based. Uh, all appliances are going to stay. And we'll, have, we'll come back for that too. There's a lot of stuff that's just going to wait. Uh, we're completely empty in the master bedroom. And we'll, we'll get all that stuff later too. That'll be all later. And then, babe, yeah. anything else? We're on a time crunch. We got more business we got to do today. I got to get Christian back on the road. All right, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are we taking the leftover pizza with us? We could take the leftover cheesy bread. Because that cheesy, cheesy bread, bread is amazing. I love it. You closing me out? You got it? Yeah. Got all your shoes. One last check. Mm -hmm. Any more shoes that need to come home with us? Mm -hmm. All this stuff can wait. All right, we'll get it later. Just made it back to the new home. Yeah, yeah, you got the most important Pizza, stuff. Anyone? What do you love most about this place? I love how there's ample parking. There, there's parking everywhere. <laughs> you always make fun of me because I say ample parking. Yeah, that is weird. You amply say ample a lot. And then I've always wanted like a wraparound driveway. Yeah, and now you have one. But you also have an ample pole barn for a she shed. You want to go for check real? it? For real? I get my own she shed? Yeah, you get your own she shed. Are you serious? Yeah, you want to go see it oh before gosh, we go it's inside? Christmas. You okay there, she shed Cheryl? <laughs> I can't believe I get my own she shed. Yeah, your own she shed. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a storage unit miracle. How'd we do, boss? Marilyn is not. I repeat, Marilyn is not allowed in here. I will lock her out. 
You're probably and gonna call lock me the utilities out. Utilities off of her and the water first. Uh, looks like. <laughs> looks like we're keep, he's keeping Marilyn out. All right, your lights are here. You're good. Now you got lights. Let there be no Those lights are on another area. Is there what? Did you say there's heat in here? Yeah, come here. Are you kidding? Is there I heat? Feel it. No, it's not on yet. I'll get all of this stuff out, but this is your wood burner right here. Look how beautiful it is. Check it out. Oh, the pot belly. Are these called pot belly stoves? It's called dad bod stove. Pot, the pot belly stove? It's a dad bod stove. This one's in really good condition. It's in There's immaculate condition. You robbed me of logs? You can, yeah, of course I did. What don't I do for you? Look, you can brew coffee right there. For real? Yep. And then I thought you would probably want to work right here with the tables, looking out at the woods. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yeah, this will be perfect. You think that'll be all right? Here, push that window open. Just push it. Yeah, push it. Ah! Get some air in here. Why, did you foos? It's rugs. Are you what are you talking about? Oh, we can use this in the house. Baby, there's so much decor from this stuff from Florida. We could use all of this instead of sell it. But guess what we're gonna do? What? Sell it. <laughs> and use it, whatever you want. Okay, you're the man. You're the boss. You seen Christian? Where'd he go? Christian. Is he up on the roof again? Are you being extra creepy again? <laughs> Are you climbing the trees? Hey, you in the bushes! You had to climb it, but look at this one. Just ask me. That one is begging to be climbed. Oh my gosh. It's a bird. It's a plane. Ugh. It's Bigfoot. Too much pizza. Look at all these stairs. I just did like five stairs. Yeah. Let's see you come down. Uh, <laughs> one. You need your two, cardio. Three. Burn four. off all those carbs. Hold a second. Uh, two more stairs. I can do this. You got it. One. You can do it. Two. Okay. I'm done for the rest of the day. You ready to reverse everything we just did? Yep. <laughs> I'm tired at this point. Yeah. So after this, we have one more load from the Worcester house to come out here. That'll be a full. Oh, her shoes made it. Her shoes made it. That'll be a full truck load. And then we have two more loads from the apartments to go to the Worcester house and then ultimately and your shoes are fine wow ultimately everything from the apartments is going to go out to the new warehouse people want to know what are we doing with the new property that we bought remember when we bought that at auction yeah that was awesome wasn't it was so they it's want to know an adrenaline rush buying property on at auction what are we doing with the property we got it for 115.5 after the fees what are we doing with it that's going to be a future business endeavor so that's going to be storage unit business mm -hmm. and warehouse space for us as yeah. well we what can't we wait what are we naming it u hails instead of u haul storage. it's going to be u hails <laughs> sounds perfect it rolls right off the tongue george Yes. You got some explaining to do. What do you mean? Come with me. Come with me. Don't worry about the handicap ramp. She's cleaning up all the mud. We got so much cleaning to do. Uh, George. Yeah. Okay. Now, I see you put a shoe rack there. Yes. We just brought in another shoe rack. Uh, Christian, you just brought in another shoe rack, a giant one, over here. Um, George. Have you or have you not realized that you have beyond enough? Here's some of your shoes. So, oh, so we store sir. my shoes. Do you see this? This is this is only uh -huh. one eighth of your shoes. One eighth? I don't. Eighth. I don't even have eight shoes. One eighth. Maybe if you would stop buying them. What's in there? What's in there? That's empty. Is that is that your luggage? That's. That's one of your luggage. You come with a lot of baggage. Of there is no doubt about that. You come with a ton of baggage. This is only one eighth of your shoes. They haven't okay. even seen the rest well, of your shoes. Well, let's throw my shoes away, auction them off, there's and some, then there's some of your shoes right and there. And then let's put those shoes. Oh my gosh, a crocodile! <gasps> How did that get there? Is that you, Sobek? I'm assuming you probably threw it up there. Why would you have thrown that up there? To scare you. Are you? <laughs> and it worked. 
It's supposed to jump out at you when you open the door. Uh, how many booby traps have you set in this place so far? I can't tell you. Yeah, well, I guess I'm gonna find out the easy way, right? I can't tell you. I'll find out and then I will set 10 times. <laughs> you will rue the day. You will rue the day. You wish. What does rue mean? I have no idea. Me either. You know what this is, right? Yeah, it's a bench. No, this is a shoe bin that you sit on, you put shoes in it. What are we gonna do with this thing? That? More storage. That's Isn't that something Uncle Rogers or Mr. Rogers had? Oh, now Mr. Rogers is your, oh, apparently, Apparently he's got a basketball in it. He's ready to ball. Oh, uh, yeah, not out here we ain't gonna ball. So, where's this going? I was thinking somewhere in the Breezeway mudroom area. That, or it could go in the secret room for the kids and we could use it as a toy box instead. Whatever you want, babe. You think we can get it up the spiral staircase? Sure, with Christian here, yes. <laughs> yeah, he'll go at the top, I'll just throw it up in a spiral and he'll grab it. Oh, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Oh, tip. And that's if it'll even go up and around. So. What's the plan, my man? Um, we're hoping this is the second to last Ooh. thing. We'll go. All right. The couch is the last thing. That will not come in through here. Okay. We gotta go through that door. The front door is blocked by the table because the table won't go through here. This table? Yeah, that made the table. So. How did we get it through my house? Did you take I don't the. Know. We Magic! Go. I'm sure I did it myself. <laughs> now, where is this going? I have an idea that you're gonna hate. Okay. All right. It's gonna go. Ideas that I love to hate. Let's go just sit right here. It's gonna go up here. Don't knock it yet. It's gonna be, there's no space anywhere. I cannot believe that. 6,000 square foot house <laughs> and we have no space. <laughs> like this is insane. The house we bought isn't even big enough. So here's what I was thinking. Okay. We put this in the corner and it's a reading nook up here looking down. So in other words, here up here, you're like, oh, I want to read a nice book. And down there, they're enjoying a fire and maybe a TV above the fire. And over there, they're enjoying an incredible movie because that's where George wanted the TV, but and a not me. Fire. Not me, I read. I'm a reader. Babe, you know I don't know how to read. But neither do I, why are we keeping this thing here? <laughs> Just put it out on the curb lawn. This can go in one of the spare bedrooms. I'm not sure I like it on the stage. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Christian and I are moving it to any spare bedroom. It Let's can... go get the couch. We will call it a day. Christian, I think this is a genius idea. Now, this couch was across from the other couch at her place. I found these on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. I used to own a set like this, most comfortable couches in the world. She bought covers because the plum color is eh. Covers are cheaper for a comfortable couch. I think this is perfect. There's people down there, over there, but somebody just needs to kind of get away from all everything but still be a part of it. I think this is proper placement. She thinks, go ahead, don't be shy, George. What do you think? I think it's perfect, just like you. We'll just leave it there. Whatever makes the man happy. <laughs> she thinks I'm weird and out of place in this world. So that is not what she was saying. Christian, what do you think? Good idea, bad idea? I like it. You think it'll work? I think it'll work. I mean, you can make anything work. You just saying that because I signed your paycheck? Because <laughs> uh, I don't even sign I don't it. think it you just, sign our paychecks. And the CPA just has it electronically deposited. <laughs> so I don't even touch it. So you can say anything. What is your honest opinion? What if it was just flat against the wall? Like, bam? Like back, yeah. like back it right up? Huh. Or we could try that too. Or where you originally wanted a couch. So in the conference room. She thinks a couch should be here in the conference room. No, you thought that there should be. Okay, she's saying I thought. So we wanted a couch right here. I don't know, what do you think? You're gonna be you'll be here working too, so I think it should be out there. You think honestly. It's out there? Yeah. And then probably filing cabinets right here, that's what I'm thinking. Filing cabinets. Oh, oh. Filing cabinets, yeah. are you sure about yeah. that? Um, <laughs> we don't need no stinking filing cabinets. No more than we need any kind of storage for shoes. 
Oh man, Christian, how do you feel? I'm tired. I would have never in a million years thought that we would have unloaded two full 20 foot enclosed trailers in one day. Not only that, we loaded one as well. Yeah. I don't know about you, I'm thankful for this secret room. Me too, this is a nice thing. Anyway. George can't find us, it's a secret room. Although it's built for her size people, so. <laughs> Not for us. I think, I think it's nap time, what do you think? Yep, me too. Oh man, you know what we have to do tomorrow? <laughs> there are one more load in Worcester, two more loads at the apartments to then go to. We have three 20 foot trailers to finish up this entire job this month. That's a lot. That's a lot of moving. Tell you what, I'm going to take a nap and then we're going to show you how things have progressed here at the house. There's some pretty cool stuff. What did you think when you saw a lot of the stuff that's being put in place? Oh, I think it looks so nice. Okay, well, you're going to get to see too and see what you think. We're going to show you all the updates so far. Everything we've been able to put together in the past. Let's see, today is Wednesday. We have a live stream in less than an hour. We moved in Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's five days. We've unloaded four trailer loads. Five, if you can count Christian and Patience. But thankfully, we weren't a part of that. Not that we wouldn't have, but their whole family helped them. And I want this to be an encouragement to you because, George, you know, and I know, I lost everything in my life to the point where I was garbage picking for wood to burn in a fireplace in the house that Christian and Patience are living in now. I had nothing. I was burning wood from garbage. Not even a gray hoodie on your back? You know what? I think my ex-wife took that too. And then I had to rebuild my entire life through storage units. And everything you're going to see, we rebuilt our lives. And George has had her own different traumas and tragedies in her life as well. And so we rebuilt our lives together with storage units and reselling. And you can absolutely do it too. That just came from your place. This was in my garage. Yeah, yeah we've stored a lot of things over we there. Bought, we bought this specifically to repurpose. Facebook Marketplace. That, that farm farmhouse look yeah so we were going to actually distress it yes. and in preparation for buying this home except we didn't know which home we were buying yet so we had no right. clue so even we, though you know, we knew we were gonna buy a house together so we bought this in preparation of that which is why I said I can do DIY in my new workshop. So we also got these end tables that we're going to distress as well. So this came with the set. Yep. So this two will be So that's why they're here in the workshop. This is going to be a full workshop, except all of my tools aren't here yet. So is the rocking chair? The rocking chair is still broken. It's Remember broken. that came from the storage unit. So some things we got from this, Facebook this Marketplace. Is what out of your yeah, it jumped out of my truck. And this is the vacuum you said doesn't work that I'm going to try and get working. Yes. But That's we'll a get... brand new. Brand new oh, in the box. Yeah. It was still sealed. Yep, still sealed in the box. And... So, yeah, if we can take a look. Well, I'm going to take a look out at our ravine, out at our view. Oh, man. It never gets old, does it? It's beautiful. Breathtaking okay. views. This is everything from the Egypt yeah. fundraiser so this far. Wall is dedicated to repackaged. That have been, yeah. That we've already opened on our live and we've repackaged. Repackaged to condense it, but it'll all go to Egypt in freight. Boy, we got so much to open tonight. We have a lot. This is inventory that you're going to be selling on auctions. We were supposed to have an auction tonight, but it's just too much right now. There's too much going on. Oh, so much. I still don't even have my packaging center set up. I don't have any boxes, no packing supplies. So it's a little premature on end if we were to do. But we were going to try and it was just too much at this point in time. More shelving. This shelving will go in your she shed, Cheryl. So you'll get that shelving. Cheryl. You'll get that, I mean, Patricia, Susanna, George. You'll get that shelving as well. I just haven't moved it over there yet. Let's go take a look inside. Okay. We still don't know what to do with this ramp. <laughs> we were just talking about putting a little breakfast nook over here. 
It's funny because a lot of the viewers are like, don't take it out. Someday you'll need it. Yep. Maybe in 25 years. Well, we can years, widen we will. the ramp. How could you bring a hospital bed through this narrow, you can't do narrow anything. ramp? This has been. This I has like been the ramp. It just needs to be widened. Well, if I could drive a BMX bike off of it or an <laughs> ATV, I mean, that'd be great. But right now, it's useless for us. And if you go, oh man, well, don't take it out. You're going to need it someday. Okay, 25 years down the road we'll build another ramp. That doesn't do anything for us in the next 25 years. We still don't know what to do with it. Yeah, it's very narrow. It needs it's, to be widened. It's horrible for moving, horrible for moving. This came from a storage unit in Florida. It's yeah. a mess, you can see it's a mess. I gotta fix it underneath. So we're gonna clean that up, right? Yep. So we'll scoot it over, we'll clean it up, and you can actually put all your shoes on. I'm curious, did you even put, because- This the, is where our guests can sit take off their shoes, put on their shoes. Or put on George's shoes. I didn't put anything in here because- this is where they kept their shoes. Right, and I, I refuse to put anything in there because I would, honestly, I would sacred? like this. No, I would like this out of the way. Oh, because you're, okay, because you want to rip that out. Okay, mm -hmm. and by the way, every time we say rip something out, it doesn't mean we're gonna take a sledgehammer and destroy We'll be gentle. It. We will take it out and we will repurpose it yeah, and we, we will, will reuse repurpose. it somewhere else. I'll this probably will probably go in my she shed. Yeah. Jenks. You, you owe, owe me a soda. soda. Double you owe me a double you soda. Me double soda. <laughs> so there. Okay, show me what's going on in here, George. Okay. Oh man, there's a hot mess. Remember where you were practicing the high yeah. to scare our guests? Uh -huh. So far I've got one Yeah, you did show me that earlier today. And, and you showed me the shoes. Here's all yep. your shoes. Actually, I was talking about in there. Oh, okay. Don't, you, you already showed me that on this all video. Right, come on in. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably turn the flash on unless we we'll have, on, we have like 500, 500, 500 light switches. switches. Okay. So this is Excuse a breakfast nook table, Excuse and I was just actually gluing the legs back together. All right, wh what are you showing me? Over here, this area, I would love for it to be pulled out as well. Because yeah, that's coming I out don't. for sure. And then we'll re reuse this in the shoe. That's a relationship divider that keeps people from coming together. That needs to come out. Well, it it kind of closes, it confines the area, and I like it. We to want be it open. open. Plus, now we've got this, so so people are like, oh, countertop space. No, we don't need it. We've got a table. We have other plans. We actually have plans. We thought this all through. So this will be a dining room yep. slash breakfast nook in the morning where the sun comes up. And people have asked, if we turn the living room into a master bedroom, where's our living room going to be? Uh... You're looking, You're looking at, it. at it. I mean, where where else do you think it's going to be? This is a huge house. Yep. You can put a living room anywhere you want. So and then with our yep. with our built-in uh, couch with all the doo doo brown cushions, I yeah. need to liven it up and add some color to so it. So you got covers. So that'll didn't be you? something that I order to add some a splash of color in here. I'm going to order some light right now. Let there be light. And then check out up here. Okay, let's go over here. Careful, don't fall on that because I just glued it. So George is not an interior decorator. Everything she hates here, it. Everything up here was from Jeremy's place. It was either by the fireplace or on the mantle. This is all from all storage here. unit. So while she was in her closet, her she shed closet, mm -hmm. I was working on actual interior decoration. Now you hate stuff everywhere. And this house is a very contemporary, or you I could like even say- I like simplicity like how the previous- Sterile. Ones. You could say sterile design. So, this rustic look, we tried it down below, and you'll see there's a million other things over here. We don't know where this is all going yet. I'm still working on this. I actually was double siding decorating over here, and, and this is gonna come down. Those are gonna go up. I just have not had time yet. It's just very, very intense, everything that we're doing right now. So, in the kitchen, have you done anything in the kitchen? I see. You made some popcorn there, George, and you got a toaster out, and you got the air fryer out. We so, got a coffee maker right there in the corner. Oh, she got a coffee maker. That and was extremely important. My banana hanger. <laughs> okay, you got your banana yes, hanger. I was, I was air drying the crock pot right here, so I'm gonna put that away. Okay. And then this drawer is dedicated just for Jeremy. That's mine? This is just I have my own cabinet. 
Bam! Oh! It has your peanut butter, your Every gum, morning with an apple. And then all of gum your Gum every day mixes. after breakfast. All of your drink And then drink mixes, mixes every Can't single day. your and fiber. my Metamucil. Because you love using these There's two things that will change your life. Number one, Jesus. Number two, Metamucil. Metamucil. Do you want to tell the paper towel story? I've told it before on the, the channel. So the paper towel story. Jeremy, for whatever reason, is like, he likes this ragged looking... That's where, I, that's where I cut my apples. I can't Listen, stand it. I am the most simple, basic, George says basic white vanilla grandpa, but it's easy, basic, simple guy in the world. Jeans, t-shirt, hoodie, and I don't care if All I have a stained towel. All of these stains right here, I've tried bleaching this specific towel. It's for my apples. None of these come out. These are all apple I stains. cut my apple every morning. I eat an apple with peanut butter for every me, morning. I just use a plate to cut an apple on. Yeah. But he likes reusing this. That's true. So and I, you know where that towel came from. You know where that towel came from, right? Storage unit. Storage unit. Everything Wasn't we're it looking like at. like a hotel that went out of business? Or yeah. Something? And it was a worker here. I got a story to tell about the paper towels. Okay. So, 2014. These blue, these blue paper towels. You, you often hear about people who went through the Great Depression and then they hold on and they hide money and all of those things because they never know if you know, they're going to be able to keep their money. So when I went through a horrific divorce in 2014, the judge actually froze all my accounts. I had no money. I couldn't spend any money without her approval. She said no to everything, which has been life for me. I mean, that's just what it is. And uh, literally had nothing, nothing at all. I would I would go to the gas station just to have paper towels to, to dry my hands or blow my nose. Just to, I started, I was like, I'm paying for gas, they're free paper towels, and I would take as many paper towels as possible just so I felt like I had something. And to this day, um, you won't blow his nose and anything else. I only, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I dry my hands, like that whole, you would call it trauma. I mean, it was. It was a very traumatic part, yeah. part of my life. But it stuck with me to where I'm like, oh man, those paper like towels are incredible. Like you're still in survival mode. If I knew where to buy those paper towels, I'd just buy them. But I just I just spent $115 on diesel today on the black truck. So did the second Christian back to Worcester. So, you know, I figure $115 on diesel. Few paper towels. They're there for free. They're not going to mind, right? Maybe someday I'll grow out of it. But to this point, all these years later, I still pick up paper towels at every single time I go and get gas or diesel. Complimentary. Those are the best. The toaster will get tucked away and the air fryer will get tucked away. Okay. I can't stand anything on countertops. I was going like to ask. Your corner drives me crazy. Oh, geez. Um, we'll explain these in a second since she doesn't. Oh, we totally passed these out. Um, no, you go ahead and explain. You want me to explain? Yeah. We had all of these things, and you see the banjo. That's the old Gibson banjo. It came from a $50 storage unit. That is the Yamaha piano crate. That was, oh uh, man, that was, were you with me when I bought that storage unit? Nope. Okay, so that was before George was with YouTube. That was, that was there a, when I met you. That was a $25 storage unit filled with antiques. It's awesome. Here's an old fishing net. And I thought, you know what? Since the rustic doesn't fit on the ground level, like I did with the trunk over, over there, I thought maybe rustic would be on a display level and it's actually working. So over here, we've got all the canes that we've found. Curio cabinet, another guitar. In the curio cabinet, I'm gonna put all kinds of cool storage unit finds. So for example, I ooh, almost lost that. Uh, like I know More Debbie Vaughn, you know Pam. So many people would love these old clay marbles. By the way, old clay marbles, hundreds, thousands, some even hundreds of thousands of dollars. We've never priced these. These are going up there. So some of the cool stuff that we found in storage units is going to go on display up in the curio cabinet. Now, it looks great there. I you did a fantastic job. I haven't finished this area yet. So I'm still working on that. I put some some things up there to work on, but you've been working in here. All right. So this is going to be my future packaging center because the dining room is kind of tucked away. I don't think anyone will spend time in here when we do host. People will probably be out there, which is why that table's out there. Which this is where they used to dance. So, Woo, getting jiggy so with it. far, I've got a ton of inventory here. This is my sorting table. 
So this dining room table, which we barely even used when we met, has become a nice sorting table. We've only ever used this dining room table in the Worcester house to actually sort, and here Georgia is doing it again. Remember the military unit I found this fall, and I paid, I think, $350? Mm -hmm. George is working on it right so now. sorting military patches, pins, jewelry, and then your corner... Um, that was from a storage unit. Cabinet, you're gonna put more knickknacks in there. Um, I don't know. I'm not even anywhere near that yet. Okay. I don't know, but I'm sure we'll think of something. Looks like to, I still need to order a bunch of boxes. From okay, UFDM. she wants boxes. Uh, we don't buy batteries because all of these batteries are from storage units. We get all kinds of stuff. I wonder what's in here. I used to have a collection of dice in here. Do I still have it? It's in one of those boxes. Where? Over here? Okay, there's a collection of dice over here. All right, what do you got? Oh, there's an Olight lot going out. There's a card lot, a Barbie lot. Those are all future lots. There's, wow, you got a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a lot, a lot of stuff going on there. Do you wanna? Again, excuse the mess, it's a hot mess. Uh, we've been here for five days and we're moving two lives together. Lives built on storage units. Yeah, so, two homes into one so home. If, so if, how many storage units do you think we've bought together? 250, 300, 400? So it's yeah, not just it's, two it's homes coming hundreds. together. It's definitely in the hundreds. Okay, walk me through what's going on here. Huh. So these shelves haven't been set up yet. We've just kind of been randomly uh, putting things here. And then if you guys remember the netting with all the nautical things in it, those are right here. Right there. So we haven't decided where we're gonna put those yet. Those boxes right there, those are all of Jeremy's knickknacks. Those are so from storage him, units. I'm gonna let Can him you take your glasses off? It looks, it looks like it's pulsating the light in the video and I don't know if it's because of your glasses. If I look at anything else, no pulse. And okay. then, no, that didn't do now it. Now I can, look less studious. That didn't do it. You can put them back on. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. All right. And then down here, we've moved two couches. What's down there? Down, down here there. Is the living room. So George got her way with the TV. So let me have you explain to the viewers what you've decided to do. So I thought any good relationship is all about compromise, right? Mm -hmm. Two opposing parties coming together to work together as one and whoop, compromise. So I want a couch because of the fireplace. Many have thought this is a gas fireplace. This is not a gas fireplace. This is a Daniel. full functioning fireplace and I love fires. Love it. So I want to enjoy the fire. George wants a TV over on this wall and a lot of viewers have made a lot of good comments about well it should probably go on this wall for less glare because of the windows up here well not only that like when our guests come they're gonna stand right here watching the tv you, like let's you say you have the game on have guests that just stand yeah if they're in the things. kitchen they're gonna come okay. and just kind of stand all right and so apparently this look is at the standing TV. room only for the tv hey i'm just going by okay. my experience hey. when i've hosted all right I've never had standing room only, but then again, I've never hosted. They can so, sit, they can stand, they can do whatever. I put a chair up here so that they don't have to stand. So, at least I got my way on that one. So George, George is doing all right here. So she gets. So she there's gets, the fireplace from Jeremy's place. Yep, electric fireplace there. If we want a little extra heat now, because of George's thyroid being removed, that extra heat comes in handy a lot. So we probably will use the heat and then we can enjoy a movie. As a matter of fact, we watched a movie last night, but we just got, we, <laughs> we just, we, this is how we, we did it. We were on this, this couch, no so joke. that's why the pillows are everywhere. This is no joke. This is how we watched a movie last night. I was right here looking like this. And this couch wasn't here. That couch wasn't there. And George was right here like this. <laughs> no joke. This is so neither of us was like, you know what? Maybe we should just turn the couch around. I think we were just so exhausted. We're like, nah. So tired. We were just Why like, would we do that? We were just like, you know what? We made it work. It just we made we'll it watch. <laughs> we'll watch it. We know we're ridiculous, okay? Even when we're making fun of each other. We're if we're we're making fun of each other, we're always just joking around. The with pulsating each other. I think is from one of these lights. You think so? Yeah. It's doing it on me too. Yeah. 
I thought it was just my aurora. I think it's the light. Or it could be. Your aurora or aura? It could be my aroma. <laughs> Here, smell, check. Smell a vision. No, you're fine. I don't know. Uh, how about you show us what's going on in the office? Ooh. The office is a mess. It's so here crazy in messy. Jeremy's corner. Okay, my corner. We set up all of the Ghostbusters There's and the garbage pail garbage kids. Garbage pail kids that you guys have and all then sent him. Ghostbusters. Probably see some stuff that you guys have actually sent. More Ghostbusters. Can you turn all the lights on in the office? Sure. Because I'm still getting weird lighting more ghostbusters yeah that's really good with the light so george has been gracious enough to give me this corner which i appreciate and you so guys i'm working remember, on remember he was complaining about his corner that he only had that view well look the, that view is all blocked now yeah so now he's more grateful for his i love it <laughs> so we we go live here in 30 minutes i just set up the live stream i've been working on rental applications that's for the warehouse that's all information for the warehouse this is all contacts for this house here that's a rental application with an application fee and then and then we've got storage unit stuff everywhere. So for example, that's gold, silver, diamonds. This is all collectible money, gold, silver. Here, can you hold that real quick? Sure. It's just, there's something specific I'm looking for. This okay. is all gold and silver. Silver Treasure chest. and gold. Some of the, George, George labeled on it, super secret, do not blink. I put an eyeball on And she it. told me, she's do like, you, you better not let this out of your sight <laughs> every, anywhere. Because it's all money, it is money. Do you know where the silver bar is? It's somewhere in there. Okay, so this is gold. That's gold. Okay, we we'll just look in here. This isn't gold. This is a car that was made of... There's silver. Good. There's silver there. So we've got... Oh, there's a blowhorn. That's not silver or gold. No, that's not. I'm not sure why you put that in. This is all money. Basically, in a nutshell, this is this is all silver and gold. And baby, what did you do with that silver it's in bar? One of these boxes. This is all silver and gold and money and collectible. It might be in the one that's sideways. This one here. Yep. So a lot of people ask Jeremy, do, do you sell all that? And the answer is no, I don't. Um, the goal is it's not in there. It's that's not too light. The goal is to actually pass it all on. Maybe it's in one of the zip-up bags. You think you put it in like this? Maybe. There's definitely a lot of money in there. I honestly have no clue what you did with it. It's in there. You're sure? Yep. 100% positively sure? 100, 100. Oh, 100, 100 now, huh? Yeah. Okay. It might be buried down there. Down where? In that box that you're in. All right, I'm look. Oh, there it is, all right. This is what a three thousand plus dollar silver bar looks That's like. Pure silver, right y'all. How much did I pay for this? I don't remember. You bought it this from the Sean Goodman. The Sean Goodman. I think I paid thirty two hundred dollars. This was found in a hundred and eighty dollar storage unit, and so Sean found it for in his storage unit in Florida, and I wanted to preserve it, so I paid thirty two hundred dollars for it to keep it as a storage unit memento. Uh, this is history right and there. And it was authenticated. You find, yep, so I've been mm -hmm. authenticated. You find gold and silver everywhere. That bad boy is heavy. It's very heavy. It's over seven pounds, and I just made a mess of all the money and collectible money that, that and gold and silver that you placed there. So I'll probably get in trouble for that later. Um, let's see what else you got going on in your and area. And then in this corner of the office, this okay. is where I'm starting to set up all the Elvis stuff that you guys yep. have sent and gifted. Oh, look Everything at all that. Everything that's in this box right that's here. That's all boxes, Elvis. This is all Elvis. Elvis, Elvis, that's all Elvis. Gonna go over here. I have a feeling you're going to need more overflow. shelf space. I am. I'm going to have yeah. an overflow of Elvis. Yeah, you're definitely going to need some more shelf space. So instead of putting a couch in here or filing cabinets, do you want to just put in more shelves? For real? No, because you have plenty of shelves everywhere. You can you can put your well, Elvis I, stuff in every if drawer. If anything, I need display shelves to put more of the, the Elvis overflow over here. Baby, or, there is such thing as too much of a good thing. 
Very true. So, very, very true. Like, how how would you be able to handle it if if you had to handle me twenty four seven? Twenty five eight. I'm already doing it now. Okay, you're right. There is no such thing as too I much of a good a thing. I carry a picture of you everywhere I go, and then I have to remind myself if I can deal with him, I can deal with anything. Look at this face. <laughs> You know what she does? She looks at that thing and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's a big old snack. Figuring all them light switches out? All I'm doing is just turning them on. All right, because We're I have no learning. clue either. We're, We're so, <laughs> so lost. We have not done anything with the actual laundry room yet. And I know a lot of people have said, What are you going to do? Are you going to expand it? We're not even going to come close to it because it's not essential right now for us to actually yeah. get settled. There's no rush. The and washer and dryer works just fine. I just have to do smaller loads. And all. we'll get our washer and dryer in in due time. Yeah. So Again, excuse the mess. We're still trying to get settled in. Bedroom number one. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. So that beautiful... This is from a storage unit as well. Everything in here from a storage unit. This is. Including, this you know, I guess your clothes. Oh, wait. That is or it well, isn't? these are coats. And oh. I don't want to take it upstairs because they're going to go uh, around the bed. Hi, pretty lady. So, I made the bed. This is the, the cherry. Um, this was in the blue. The yeah, that was from the blue room at the Worcester house. And then the only thing I did with the Murphy bed is just mm -hmm. put a fitted sheet on. Oh, nice. I washed it and put the fitted sheet on. Oh, look, 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 look. You could put your Elvis stuff right there above the Murphy bed. It'll get squashed. Baby. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> How all sugar pour? And then what else did we do? We we added that. So not yeah. much has changed in this room from our last update. All right, let's look at. Um, have we tested the TV yet? I don't think we tested any of the small I try, TVs. I try to turn the TV on, but look. Oh. Uh, no batteries. I know where there's batteries, and it's so just not. I. It's not the most important thing right now. It's just. It's been very very hectic. A ton of work. Just and that. that came from George's house today and has not been put away yet. That's all bedding. This was all set and all good to go until we threw another TV, yep. fireplace. Fireplace and TVs in here. There's just your extra guitars. How Mirrors. many guitars do you need? What do you mean how many guitars do I need? How many guitars do you need? Well, we both know I can't even play one, so <laughs> I have to keep find I have to keep getting them until I can find one I can play. This is for a queen bed so so you don't throw your back out so i'm not i haven't decided which bed i want to put this on yet. so it just it's in here we'll work on things like that tomorrow mm -hmm. tomorrow actually tomorrow you're probably going to work on just consolidating all the egypt donations for the shipping container and then in here this was upstairs in front of your bed at yeah. your worcester house it so was here. it's a cedar chest that was distressed so it looks good right there, right? Yeah, it looks great. Storage unit. This is a Sensi for essential oils. That was from a storage unit. This was from a storage unit. It was in the yellow room. I mean, the everything. The left this bed here, so I just used the sheets that they left here. Storage in the unit. This antique lamp is from a storage unit. That was at my place. Everything. <laughs> it's slowly coming along. Everything. So here's the one thing as we look at everything that I really want you guys to focus on. Are we going upstairs? Go ahead. Okay. So as we go upstairs, to, okay, apparently we're taking our shoes off. So we go upstairs. Let's talk about a millionaire mindset, okay? Or let's just talk about a wealth mindset or a, a stewardship of funds mindset. That's what it is. It's all about the way you think. That's the difference. That's the difference. It's not what you do. And nine times out of 10, uh, it's not what you do. I can understand sometimes it might be what you do, but it's how you do what you do. It's your mind. Change the way you think. That will change the way you behave. That will change the way you act. And frankly, that changes your life. And I always, always, always think that generosity, giving should be a part of that, which is huge on our channel. Yes, absolutely. Huge. Absolutely. huge. So, uh... Not much has changed with the bathroom. I'm just turning on all the switches. Because I'm, we still have we no still clue. No like. clue. So, you, oh, you brought my seagulls. I get my seagulls. You're in the bathroom. I just had a great I idea. That. I did that. I just so had a just great idea. Like nice job. I'm going to put a whole 
bunch of stuff up on top of the shower and make George think it's gonna fall and poop on her. <laughs> but, Does this look familiar? Yep, that's definitely familiar. So Jeremy likes to keep more paper towels up here. And Jeremy has also tested the tub one night. It helped. My muscles have hurt so bad. So, so bad. Have you used your toilet yet? I put um, a squatty potty in there for you. That's from a storage unit. That was from a dental unit. The guy, I got a lot of gold, like a lot of gold fillings from that. He was a, a high-end oral surgeon, and that was from his unit. And I don't know, I just always kept it. Well, you, uh, haven't, I did, answered, you haven't answered my question. Have yeah, you? I was in here once, and I called staff meeting, and guess what? Nobody showed. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, really? Because whenever you call a staff meeting over here, Guess who shows up? Can you kind of see the, the sun setting a little oh, bit. Oh, is the sun setting? And all they can see is the flash. Although there are some beautiful colors up in the sky over here. So that's always cool. Again, not much has changed in the bathroom. So oh, that, that's season. changed. I Look did at that. Add that. That, that was from karma. That was from your house. From the house, yep. Okay. I think you've used this toilet more than you've used your own toilet. Because, at least you flushed it this time. Because that's where you call your staff <laughs> I meetings. I was on the run. Why are you always trying to hide from me? I and was on the run, Jerry. More like you had the runs. You're always trying to hide from me and trying to scare me in this house. <laughs> it's ridiculous. How's the closet going? The closet is more of a mess since the last time we've updated you guys. Did we do anything with the previous owner's underwear? Uh, they're supposed to come visit us. He, he's going to be here Saturday. Would it be rude to give it back to him? Okay, so here's the big question. He's coming Saturday at 10 a.m. He's actually going to go through all of the property with us. He's going to tell us what every light switch does, what every this does. Where every things, thermometer where everything is. is. Every, because because right now we're just, can't even figure it out. One night, one night we ran out of hot water. I'm like, oh no, this is horrible because George is not going to be happy. Come I didn't sleep all night. Come to find out they have the hot water <laughs> heater on a timer. It only heats water for a certain amount of hours during the morning and certain amount of hours during the night and it shuts off the hot water and they did it for utility costs. So utilities here, we already know this because we asked all this before. It's roughly $12,000 a year for utilities. Okay. Everything is heat pump, energy efficient, much more, much more energy efficient than any other source that we could use to actually heat the house and cool the house. So so we just don't know the way everything is set up yet because there's stuff over here and stuff We've over here. We've been learning a little bit every day. Every day. Uh, sometimes by fire, we're being baptized. Okay, so. So all those bags behind you, those two large bags, those are all your clothes. Yeah, right. That I still have to hang up. Those are all your clothes. We never did determine, are we giving the underwear back to the previous owner or do we Would say nothing? Rude? Rude not to give it back. Would exactly not to. It would be rude not to give it back. Should I would want my underwear back her? if I ever left my underwear anywhere. <laughs> Christian and Patience, best give it back. <laughs> right. This pile right here is all your clothes as well. I I can't even believe you would say this is mine. That is, what makes you even say that? All of that is yours, and there's more at the Worcester House that we still have to bring over. That was another. You guys have no idea. This man load. has more shoes and clothes than I do because people give them to me because they feel so sorry because I only wear a hoodie. Not much has changed in the master bedroom, except Jeremy does this thing that drives me nuts. What's that? You turn your head on me and I record the back of your head? That? He uses this to just hang his clothes on like what? when we have a closet. <laughs> Why would I use the closet? Back I only in Worcester, he would use the corner of the door to hang all his clothes. Would you prefer I get a nuts. would you prefer I get a treadmill the and use that out. instead? The secret is Okay, out. I'll just it's get a treadmill. It's always driven me nuts, but I've never come forward and said anything. Okay, you want to know what you do with your clothes <laughs> that drives me nuts? What do I do? You throw them on the floor for weeks at a time. Where are they? They're not it on the floor. just so happens your socks are on your feet right now because normally they're right there. I actually know where a okay, pair of your so socks I are right now. I take off my socks in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping. Okay, I Did have. Complain about and then they the sit there socks? for two weeks. No, I, I know them on every where day. a pair of her socks are right now. Right now. You know what? I'm going to run there and I'm going to show them to you. Why do I feel like somebody's stalking me? Do you feel like you're being followed? Uh, always. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, what's that? Random pair of socks. Random pair of socks. But they're not on the floor like you claim that they're on the floor. They are now. 
they're there now. Boom! <laughs> Shaka laka laka. <laughs>